What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's Henry and today I'm going to talk about 2xing or 3xing a small position and benefiting if the market falls. Because guys, as you can see here, a lot of stocks are falling. Lucid's down 13%, Tesla's down 4.46%, Bitcoin's down, Nvidia's down. So many stocks are down, including NEO. NEO is completely in the gutter. There's so much China fear. Ford is down. I mean, all the different stocks that I follow scrolling up over here, we see that Square is down, Riot is down, Google is down. So basically guys, as we see there's a lot of volatility in the market. The S&P 500 is actually up, which is really strange because a lot of the mid cap stocks, a lot of the stocks that are followed on YouTube and a lot of popular stocks on Reddit, they're down. So I wanna show you guys a strategy where you can 2X, 3X your money and pick specific stocks that may pull back and make a lot of money on them. So the bull put spread, or really this is a debit put spread. I refer to spreads as credits or debits. Now that I think about it, it's actually called a bear put spread because you're betting on a bear market. We're going to call it a debit put Put spread. It involves paying some money, a very little amount, but giving yourself the opportunity to protect your portfolio. That's number one. That's what this position can do with very little amounts of money invested. Again, I'm going to show you an example in just a moment. I do want to show you guys some of the positions that I have. But real quick, the assumption here is that you expect a falling market or at least a falling stock, which is probably why I'm going to pick one of the more expensive stocks to show you an example of this. Now, I do want to say a debit put spread is very good as well as a call credit spread. Now, a call credit spread spread I made a video on. I'm going to link it in the description. But as you guys can see here, I made a lot of money selling call credit spreads on stocks that I think were expensive and they absolutely killed it. So if you want to see me make trades like this, then make sure to apply for the private discord that I have. But either way, I'm going to show you how this works. I sold coin, coin, lucid, net, snow, all these expensive stocks. I sold call credit spreads, but this video is really about debit put spreads. So let's find a stock that is expensive so I can show you an example. Basically, Nvidia is down a tremendous amount today. So let's pull up Nvidia. Again, you don't have to use Nvidia. I'm not a financial advisor. So this is just a strategy where you pick a stock that you think is going to fall. If you don't think Nvidia is going to fall, pick a stock that you believe can fall. I'm just picking a stock that I think has a very high price to sales ratio and has recently run up more than I think it deserves. Now I'm going to break everything down for you. If you're enjoying the video so far, make sure you do drop a like on this video. It tremendously helps out the algorithm and it'll help me keep making these videos for you. So we've seen Kathy Wood underperform the market. I mean, ARK KK is down a lot. We've also seen Michael Burry go into more defensive positions. We've seen Warren Buffett raise more cash in his portfolio than ever. So buying debit put spreads is going to be a fantastic strategy if the market pulls back or again, if any of the stocks pull back. So I'm going to click trade Nvidia options. And the assumption here is that Nvidia is going to pull back. Now to really see where Nvidia can pull back to, I'm just going to open up the chart using Yahoo Finance. I want to open the chart and show you guys the specific technical indicators that I look at because this is going to be important for picking strike price. Far too many options options traders don't know what strike price to pick and what date to choose. So this is going to be very important. I'm going to mention both of those things as well as closing the position. Now, far too many people don't understand when to close the position. And this is going to be a big difference in your bottom line. This is very important to know when to close an option. First of all, let's just talk about the strike price and then I'm going to go over the expiration date. Now, looking at the Nvidia chart right here, we see that Nvidia has a double peak at 329, then again at $333. So this double peak is very important to look at because, well, from one perspective, if I was doing a call credit spread, this is where I would sell the call credit spread strikes. However, because this video is about debit put spreads, we're going to look down to the bottom of the Bollinger Band. So this is the Bollinger Band. This gives you the statistical range where the stock is likely to trade within. Now, if we scroll in, actually, if I zoom in over here and let me just put this screen down. So I clicked one month here. We can see that Nvidia is just touching the Bollinger Band. Now, this is a big deal because when the stock touches the Bollinger Band, and you see a pattern like this. I mean, look, we've been going sideways. We've had some momentum up, but honestly, the momentum has not been sustained. This stock has become red hot. And now we see that we have sustained selling. So one day, two day. Now this is the third day in a row. I can completely see the stock going back down to around the moving average. So this purple line right here is the moving average for the stock. It says $254. The moving average is very important because it basically tells you where the stock has traded at at the average for the past 
past 60 days. That's why you see here MA, which stands for moving average 60. This is 60 days. So I can completely see the stock going back to 60 days. Again, you can use this on a stock that you think has peaked. You can also use this strategy in a stock that has broken down a lot and you believe that stock will break down further. For example, American Airlines or any other travel related stock because of the variant going on right now. I mean, it really doesn't matter. You need to form an opinion and then use this strategy on a stock that you think is going to fall down. That's really the most important thing. So looking at Nvidia, we're currently sitting at $286 per share. Let's say that we think that it can go down to $255 per share. Let's say it won't even touch the moving average, but it will fall slowly towards the moving average, okay? So given that Nvidia was recently trading at $333 on 11.29 in a single week, this stock has pulled back from $333 to 286. The reason I'm looking at the time period is because this is going to be important for picking the expiration date. So basically we have picked our strike price, which is going to be around $255. I'm going to show you how the mechanics actually play out visually by going back to Robinhood. But also we have an idea of how fast Nvidia is pulling downwards. All right, so now what you wanna to do to open up this position, this involves buying a put option that is near the money and then selling a put option that is farther out of the money. Let me show you what that looks like. So December 10th is going to be this week, but we wanna give at least one week for this position to play out because again, looking at the chart, it has taken one week to go from $333 to $286. So for another further leg downwards, it's going to take about a week if it's going to happen. So I do wanna give this position two weeks to play out. Again, I'm giving two weeks to play out because sure, this stock can pull down in one week. And in fact, if you are correct and it does pull down in one week, you will make more money in a single week because looking at the current share price, you can pay $10.50 to buy a put option that's at the money. But again, if I'm going to go down to December 17, which is going to be the expiration I'm going to pick, the reason for it is because I wanna give two weeks for this position to play out. I wanna make sure that I'm very safe with the strike price that I pick and the expiration date that I pick, okay? So I had to change to put option because I had it to call option. However, you will notice that the premium is still very similar. It's $930 to buy a put option that is at the money. Now, looking at December 17th, this put option is going to be more expensive. Now, looking at the price right here, I knew it was going to be more expensive because as you go out more in time, the premium increases because more things can happen when you give more time for the option to play out. That's fine. We're going to pay more for the put debit spread, but that's fine again, because I want to give two weeks for this position to play out. Now, if you have a thesis or a vision that the stock is going to break down further into the future, then you would just pick a further out expiration date. So for Nvidia, I'm going to pick December 17th, again, giving two weeks for this option to play out. Now looking at the strike prices, I'm going to go down towards the 200 and $55 level because that's the level that I'm going to assume that the stock can fall to. So you wanna go down as far as possible because the farther you go out, the premium continues to decrease. As you see here, $6.40, 585, 530, 480. The premium continues to decrease as you go farther out of the money. However, again, that is making it harder for you to make money because the farther you go out, the less likely that the option will go down to that strike price. So again, I don't wanna to go too far down going to the 255 strike price, we think the stock can barely touch 255. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be actually even safer. I'm going to pick the 260 strike price. Now to end at 260, that means I actually have to go up to 265 because I'm going to buy the 265 and then I'm going to say, hey, this stock can fall down to 260. Again, being conservative, we think it can maybe fall down to 255, but let's just be safe and say it can fall down to 260. That means we wanna pick a strike price that is a little bit higher than 260. So looking at the 265 strike price, this is what I'm going to pick. Now, step number one, you wanna do buy put option, okay? So going to buy this put option right here, pay $508 roughly for this option. Now, what I wanna do is because I don't wanna pay $500, okay? Some of you guys are working with a small portfolio and we also wanna pay less money up front, okay? That's the goal here. So rather than just buying a put option and just seeing what happens with the put option, I'm going to close off this position and make it a spread, okay? Just buying a put option, you're long a put option. Now to make this a spread, you go to sell puts, okay? Now we're going to be selling a put option that is one leg below the leg that we have. However, taking a look at one leg below, it's 262 and a half. So it's easier just to go two legs below down to 260. Now our spread is going to be $500. The difference between 265 and 260 is five, but because each option is worth 100 shares, this is going to be a $500 spread. Now, as I open up 
this spread, you're going to see the risk and reward because this is very important for any option position that you open. It's very important to know your expiration, your strike price. It's important to close, which I'm going to get to in a second. But the risk reward is really important before you place the trade because you want to make sure that you're properly compensated for the risk that you're taking. Sell put, okay, that's correct, December 17. We're going to be selling the 260 put right here. So as I click this right here, you will see that the total cost is $90 or $93. Now, as I scroll down right here, you will see the max profit and the max loss, okay? This is a very good ratio because you're risking about $93 to make $407. So actually in this example right here, you can four times your money. So forget about two times or three times, we can actually more than four times our money. You would actually two or three times your money if you were to go higher up and strike. I can show you that in just a second, but in this example, we're going to four times our money if Nvidia pulls down to $260 or lower. If Nvidia ends up at $230, you will make the complete 4X on your money. All right, so let's discuss closing this position. Now, let's say that we approach expiration date of December 17 and Nvidia continues to fall down. What you might wanna do is before the expiration date, you most likely want to close this position. This is what I commonly do for a lot of my different option trades because as expiration approaches, time decay and theta will start to kick in. And if your option is not in the money, then your position position will start to rapidly decay. If this position is near $265 and you have a lot of time left, like let's say later on this week or whenever you open up the position, in just a few days, if the stock falls down tremendously and quickly within a short amount of time, but it doesn't reach $265 or whatever strike price that you pick, you can actually have a big profit on your hands. And in that case, I would close the position. But almost in all cases, I'm going to look to close the position before Friday. It's going to vary depending on the stock and depending on the position. So if you like having feedback, then again, the Discord community is going to be the place for you. If you were to pick options that were closer to the money, say we were going to scroll up to about $280 and $275. If you were to open up a put debit spread at these strike prices, maybe your return wouldn't be 4X. It would be a little bit lower. It could be 3X, it could be 2.5X. And the reason for that is because closer to the money, options are going to be more expensive. And because they're more expensive, you have less return potential because there's a greater chance that the stock can hit the strike prices. Now, again, this strategy is fantastic if you think any stock is going to fall. This strategy is also really good for small accounts. If you like this video, let me know by dropping a like, drop any comments if you have any, and thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.